wedgie. Okay, cool. And as opposed hey, we're to back. any other wedgie. Hey, as opposed to any other wedgies, the name of my sex tape. Yeah. Uh, we're back. We are. I just spent the last god twenty minutes, um, getting back here, and I think I know how to beat this boss now. Uh, let's see. Pretty handily. Uh, maybe about ten minutes. Okay. That's not a problem. He says as he's getting absolutely fucking ruined. He is though. I don't know how many times I have to hit him to, like to do. Oh, there you, you just have to do that to all of them. That's gonna take a while. It is. Okay. 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 Progress is being made. Hello. 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 You should probably move. Oh yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting a little cocky. Die. Die. This one. That. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh my god. There you go. I think I can only hit them from the front. Nope. Hit them from the side. Oh my god. He's pissed. Oh my god. Oh, he's very mad. No, please, sir. Okay, stop. Oh, I think he's just gonna keep doing that and I have to time it. You do. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! One more. That's it. No. Nope. Fuck. Get up here. Yes! Yes! There you go. Fucking we beat it. Oh, guys, we beat the first dungeon, the link to the past. We got our delicious you got a thing. That's a fun waveform. The pendant of courage. Take it to sh 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 Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, two pendants remain. Good. Oh, is this a new episode? How does it that is. work? Oh, cool. I thought. Whoa! It also lets you skip back to the entrance. That's nice of it. That's nice of it, but not Everything the part else. where every. Yes, exactly. And now I have a bow and arrow, so now I can uh, fuck all these guards up in like half a second. <laughs> Except for the part where I miss and then they chase me. And I have another heart, so that's fun. We did it, Xander. We did. We did. I think we're approaching as far as I've ever gotten in Link to the Past already. Mm -hmm. uh, I might have. I think I've seen the next dungeon. I also forget how to get back to Jimmy John's. Oh, yeah, we're on left. They don't give you a marker anymore because they're like, you know where he is. Good. That Octorok is a douche. Ba -da 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 -da. He lost all your arrows. Oh, you I did. Him. Oh, on that boss? Yeah. That's funny. Oh my god, I didn't even know I almost ran out. So can I never kill these guys? Probably not. I thought you oh. killed some. Oh, that's how they teach you. They put them outside the dungeon and when you first see them, you're like, I can never kill them. Literally, when you come out of the dungeon, it's like, oh, I can wreck them in one hit. Because they really do make the bow OP early, like, right when you get it. To make you feel like, oh, I just earned... I'm trapped. They make, to make you feel like you earned awesomeness. He's down there. Hich. <laughs> Hello, I am going to walk through you. There is so much easy sequence breaking in Zelda games, though. Like, um... In most of them, there's the thing where, like, when you die, if you get a fairy, if you keep a fairy with you, mm -hmm. it gives it revives you once with full health. And I was doing that in Link's Awakening today, and there's a part where you can't get by this, like, wall of fire without the mirror shield. Because mm -hmm. when you walk into it, you take damage and then get pushed back. But if you walk into it and die and then get ferried, you have invisibility, invincibility frames. So mm -hmm. I skipped it, and I didn't have the mirror shield, and I got through it, and I was like, I broke the game. Good. But you can't get past the next room, because then it's like, no, seriously, bro. Mirror shield, come on. Let me tell you more. Alright, let's sit back. Let's get comfy. Sit back, relax, and four generations ago, the Armstrong family protected the royal sea of the mistress. <laughs> the Knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the pendant. Most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place. I killed, in the destroyed. Of the shield. You're destroyed. Oh, you're right. The descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, here must appear. I see. Boodles, I believe in you. <laughs> Should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. By the families Fruity of the wise men. Bombs! Oh, wait. Boots. Oh, shit. Pegasus boots. I love that. I don't think it's east side of Lake Hylia. Yep, I know where we're going. It's the spoilers. It's the east side of Lake Hylia. Uh, let me see if I remember how to do that. So I'd hold the A button. You say that like I remember what the A button is. Oh, there it is. All right, sweet. That's also in uh, Link's Awakening. That also, I think that can kill these guys. It's basically a ru it kills the guards. That's what it is, and it lets you run really fast. It's the closest thing you ever get to a mountain in this game. No, Epona. You don't get Epona in this game. Why? What? Have you ever gone Epona in a 2D Zelda? Wait, have you? Maybe. I don't think so. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, which one are we going to? I think uh, we're going to the Southwest. 
Come on, let's go to the Master Sword. You can't get it yet. Why not? I'm telling you, you can't. Why not? Because they said at the beginning of the story that you need the pendants. Why? Did you not pay attention? No. You were talking about D&D, &D, I bet. Maybe. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we're going southwest. This is totally the place where I haven't progressed yet. I don't even think I really want to go back to the town. Let's just go straight there. Hmm... So the thing I always do in games like this is, like, between big dungeons, you're like, woof, that was uh, exhausting. And then you think, like, I need to go back to town and heal. Or, like, because you play Pokemon or whatever. You beat the gym leader, you want to go back and heal. Whereas in this, there's no, like, Pokemon Center. You just have to, you just play more. Mm -hmm. There's no point where it's like, oh, I'm good for now. Let's take a break. It just keeps going. And then you find a secret shop in a cave like I just did. Nice. And, I got, and this, this bird lady is like, may I help you? Oh, I can actually buy this now. Oh, that's a bottle. I can buy bonds. Bottle. Oh, they don't even make you confirm if you want to buy it or not. That's weird. I can buy the heart for 10 rubies, but... For 10 gonna... rubles. For 10 rupalas. And then that's the raft, I think, is what I use there. Bird. Bird. Burb. <gasps> Room. Door. The building. Thing that is here. Sandy, what are you looking at? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, another hint room. I know where to go. I don't need to... Burn some ruples on him. I'm trying to remember. I think I had a story. It's fine. Dying on the overworld doesn't mean anything. Mm. It actually is useful because it takes you back to your house or the sanctuary. I think the house is actually closer now. Wait. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, sweet. I'm like right there now. No, I'm not. Oh, no, yeah. I have to go through that place to the south first. Let's get a heart from my house, though. It's a hearse. A hearse. I saw a movie recently. We didn't talk about that. What movie? Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. Uh huh. Was it good? Mm. So I'm a big X-Men fan, like, comics-wise. Mm -hmm. And I loved the animated series. But Evolution is whatever. doesn't hold up as well, but I loved it as a kid. And the 90s series is very cheesy. But uh -huh. fun, um, and the current comics are awesome. Uh, what about Wolverine and the X Men? With a comic or what? The, oh, the show? show. That show's excellent. I've only watched a few episodes of that, but that one's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish it didn't focus as much as on Wolverine though, because spoilers, Wolverine sucks. Oh, this is a room I can't really do anything in. Uh, but yes, so X Men Days of Future Past. It's fine. I mean, like props to them for finally getting rid of the uh, original continuity. The, like, first three X Men. Have you seen it, by the way? No. Okay, that's a minor spoiler. The point of the whole movie is for them to get rid of the X Men 1, 2, and 3 continuity and pick yeah. up from the first class continuity. Mm -hmm. And they do that, but the problem is that a lot of it is. Uh, it's predicated on you liking um, their version of Mystique, who's played by Jennifer Lawrence. Mm -hmm. She's fine, but the problem is that all of her, like, actions are motivated by, like, what Magneto and Xavier tell her to do. So she doesn't have a lot of agency. She just does bad stuff. And they're like, Mystique, you gotta stop. And she's like, nope. And they're like, all right. Mm -hmm. And then Magneto's an asshole. So it's really just a lot of Magneto v. Xavier. And, but they're like young, so they're not completely enemies yet. Uh -huh. And, uh, whoa. What did I do? That was weird. Uh, the, the premise is that bad stuff happened in the future with the original X-Men. Huh? Sentinels. Yes. Sentinels happened. They kill a bunch of people, and so Wolverine has to go into his 70s self and convince uh, Mystique to not kill the guy who got the Sentinels built, because him dying was the impetus for the government being like, yeah, let's make him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a B. Fuck. Is it damaging me? Yes. Asshole. Ow. I don't know how to use my shield. I think it's just always up is supposed to be the idea. Apparently Quicksilver runs, moves faster than light in that movie. Yeah. No, so that's the thing, right? Quicksilver is, like, by far my favorite thing about that movie. Which is weird, because he's now the non-canonical Quicksilver. Because mm -hmm. Age of Ultron Quicksilver is. Is he good, by the way? How's, uh, the, how's the Quicksilver in that movie? Well, that Quicksilver in Days of Future Past would be canonical for that universe. Yeah, but he, we're not going to see, like, him in Scarlet Witch. Well, not that one. Yeah, right. We still could, I think, theoretically. He was, he was good in Age of Ultron. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He's so good in Days of Future Past, though. Like, he has that time in a bottle sequence. I went the same way twice. Time in a bottle where he, like, runs around the room and fucks shit up. Yeah. 
and it's like two seconds for him and there's music playing. It was two seconds for him, but he was moving faster than the speed of light. Also, he went through that song in two seconds, but it played the full song. Yeah, and if you, I mean, if you really want to pick it apart, how did that music still... Did that music play at normal speed on his earphones? No. Like, well, it mo- played fast enough for him to hear it at normal speed for himself. So he probably had it at like ten times speed? It had fucking light speed. Yeah, that's... I don't think I don't think also, uh, iTunes has that setting. He's got the speed force because otherwise he'd be destroying right. the wind current. So exactly. From moving that fast, everyone in that room would have died. Exactly. Fast you make a good point. I don't like to have to do. Oh, hey, sweet. I don't like to think too hard about that kind of stuff, but I I totally agree. It is. Uh, it's not the best, like most accurate, super speed he, thing. That's fine. He's just got the speed force. He's the Flash. Mm. Yeah, he I mean he's the Marvel's universe is Flash. No, he's literally the Flash. He's got magic. You're oh, you're right. I guess you're right. And next on Pop Martin Plays, we'll talk about more things that Zane is right about. Yes. Like.